Rennie, just talking about the new ruck rules that were introduced by the AFL yesterday, how do you think the changes to the no holding or around holding at contests will, will impact our rucks next year? Um, I mean, it's, it's never going to be definitive to see how it, um, it affects it for next year, but you would think that um, it won't have a huge impact. I think that the ruckmen adjusted to it uh, in the pre-season, especially from the band Australians, quite well. So... Um, I think we've got to be careful on just a small touch or, or a small feel of the opposition uh, rather than a full physical stuff. So, uh, But obviously the umpires will have to learn to interpret a rule again. Um, so there will be some betting in from that. Um, I would imagine it's going to favour a, a bigger, stronger ruckman who um, isn't able to, to be positioned or, or have someone fight for front position on him before the ball goes up in the air because once the ball's in the air, um, if he establishes position, uh, the, a smaller or, or more agile opponent is going to have to come and do some body work on that player to be able to beat him. So, um, which is normally, you know, it's sort of that sort of stuff's normally done before the ball's bounced. So if, if they've only got that short time, if a, if a big guy gets in front and puts his arm out, it's going to be very difficult for, a, for another ruckman to have an influence. The other rule that was introduced was around field bounces by field yeah. umpires, so now they can't bounce the ball around the field, it'll be a ball up. Yeah. Will that change the way in, in which you, you train our ruckman to prepare um, contests? It, it, it may. I guess we'll see it in the pre-season. I think the pre-season comps are always one of those comps you get to see what the rules like. I, uh, look, we had some wet games this year where the umpire threw the ball up. Um, you know, really, the umpire just ran in, grabbed the ball, and threw the ball up in the air again. So um, it may contribute to less um, uh, congestion around the stoppage. Uh, I would imagine it just it just narrows the amount of time for. Um, any team to get to a stoppage set up and actually be prepared to, to surround it uh, in, in, a fa- in a fashion that they would like to. It might be a little bit more random uh, just by the speed in which it, the ball's thrown up. And so I suppose with that in mind, um, our ruckman may well have less time to pre- actually prepare for ball ups if the umpire's just going straight in and just balling it up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, but. Uh, like I said, I, I don't think it's going to have as big an impact as what we think, unless um, unless it's over on board. Are there any uh, other benefits that you can see coming out of these rule changes? I think I think maybe the bounce around the ground, um, you know, where the softer ground is, um, so so a more consistent higher um, uh, throw throw up could certainly. Uh, you can certainly plan around a more consistent throw, whereas around the ground sometimes the ball is is, an, is more of an inconsistent bounce and not quite as high. So, um, although they will be bringing the ball in quicker, they'll probably be, the ball will probably have a bit more hang time um, for maybe a third man over or or, or a run and jump uh, to influence that contest. Um, yeah, I, I just think that it's, a, it's just another rule. So it's another rule that the umpires will have to think about and, and adjudicate. Um, but at the same time, the umpire won't have to be thinking about clearing his path or um, you know preparing to bounce the ball because there is a lot of pressure on the umpires to get the bounce right.